Sing chow everybody, welcome back. I've got the uh, fruit salad shirt on today and I'm here at the uh, Independence Palace. I've been here once before so I'm going to go through, I won't uh, bore you with too much uh, of the intricacies of uh, the Independence Independence Palace here, but you may recall the helicopter leaving the roof uh, back at the end of the American War, and uh, we're going to go through and have a look at it again today, just for uh, fun. Uh, it's been a great day here in uh, Ho Chi Minh City, day two, and really just going to uh, enjoy the time. After we finish, we're going to walk through the park here, and then we're off to a uh, Bung Cha restaurant tonight. So come with me, see what the Independence Palace is all about and understand some of the history of uh, Vietnam. So as you come through the gate here, you're uh, greeted with the, the fountain and a uh, majestic view of uh, the Independence Palace there. We're going to walk on up that path to the left and uh, go inside and see some of the rooms. Uh, you might notice as I as I pan around to the right here, over in the distance there, we've got some uh, relics of the war and I'll go and get some photos of them uh, later. So this is fairly famous. This is where a lot of the action happened in South Vietnam and also um, where the ultimate exit was uh, when Vietnam was, was unified again. Exciting times. So one of the interesting things I've found about YouTube is uh, it's basically a, a platform for uh, unpopular places. So if you're, a, if you're a YouTuber and you're trying to uh, create some content, you need it fairly quiet. You don't need people walking right behind you uh, talking. And so um, the best place for a YouTuber to smash out content is the least popular place in town. So uh, noisy places that are congested and have a lot of people are, uh, are never going to be a great place for a, for a YouTuber. And of course, um, if there's popular music playing, well, that's never going to be seen on YouTube. And so, uh, again, as a, as a YouTuber, you will be at places where there is no popular music, uh, not many people, uh, basically uh, ghost towns and uh, dead areas are the go-to for YouTubers. So hopefully here, as I walk through, I'll find a bit of a, a ghost town, a bit of a dead area. We won't have too much background music. Um, we'll hope it's not too popular. Um, we'll hope it's not busy and that most people have chosen not to be here today. And then we'll show you somewhere where most people have chosen not to be and uh, there's no popular music playing. It's a lovely place for uh, people to come out and take photos. These three lovely ladies here are just taking some photos against the fountain there. What a uh, spectacular backdrop. All right. Let's go and see what's for dinner. Great room there, decked out as it would have been back in uh, the 70s, plotting uh, reunification of the country, sending calls out from uh, communications equipment all over the world. A lot of history in this room. So directly across the hall, we've got the cabinet room. This is where all the important decisions were taken, set up as it would have been back in the 70s. Uh, ready to take decisions, be decisive, and uh, chart the course of history. How fantastic to be able to walk through this today. 
And now we enter the main conference hall. This is where foreign dignitaries came, uh, met with the leaders of uh, South Vietnam, offered assistance. And just look at that, how fantastic is that? These chairs, just think of the people that have sat in these chairs and discussed things in this room. The main conference room of the Independence Palace. So I'm gonna make my way up to the second floor, uh, and then the third floor, and then up to the roof and we'll give you a little bit of history culminating in a um, helicopter on the roof. So here we've got uh, other meeting rooms, clearly uh, boss guy sitting out the front here. Some worker bees sitting around and discussing things. I'm huffing and puffing, I just uh, came up the stairs uh, fairly hot. I reckon there's still a bit of BO of the Arvin troops that would have been running up and down those stairs. And um, it's still there, misty in the stairwell. Sweat from the uh, Army of the Republic of Vietnam. Another reception room for dignitaries and heads of state. Fantastically restored. Main uh, reception area over here. Balcony that extends across out over the courtyard. This courtyard would have been uh, packed with people in the 70s trying to uh, get out. And uh, from the balcony here, you can just imagine what was going on. So the museum here is a real cultural melting pot. You've got the uh, reserve tourists like Vietnam Steve that stand at the back and let everybody have a, a good view. You've got the uh, Asian tour that pushes to the front and uh, stands in front of everybody so you can't get a good shot. Uh, we've got the um, the silent Indian people that are trying to make friends with uh, everybody they meet. And uh, a variety of um, tourists. It's a, it's a melting pot and it's good to see. And it's great just to see how the different cultures negotiate. Um, well, let's say there's seven feet of tourists and there's six feet of balcony. So it's good to see how they, they negotiate uh, priorities on the balcony. So it really is a testament to uh, the North and the South, how they brought it together over the dinner table and reunited uh, the country. And of course, um, who can forget those iconic uh, images back in the 1970s when this fellow was taken off from the roof to get the last of the uh, invaders out. Uh, we've still got the helicopter here. It's a reminder of uh, what actually occurred. And this whole museum, the you know, whole palace that's now a museum, just really is a testament to uh, moving forward. And of course, in between uh, running Affairs of State, uh, we've got a, a theatre here for live shows in the palace. Uh, seating for um, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, 42 people. And uh, 
One Korean tourist. Unbelievable. The artwork in the palace uh, really is something to behold. This is a, a funky modern setting. Uh, obviously a bar in the corner. This is a bit of a, a relaxation. You can imagine the dignitaries sitting at that bar, their wives and girlfriends uh, sitting around the table there, uh, having a conversation, drinking Vietnamese wine. And also uh, here we've got a, a half finished game of Mahjong. So uh, when they left here, they left a half finished game of Mahjong. Actually, that guy's got quite a good hand. Um, but yeah, the, uh, the women, the men that have been through this room and had parties up here, it really takes you back. So if you get your pennies together, get a chance to get to uh, Vietnam. Uh, Ho Chi Minh City is a great place to come. There's a lot of historical things to see here. And uh, the Independence Palace is definitely on the list. This is my second time here. I love it. And um, it really brings back, brings to life those things that we only saw on television. Uh, if you're lucky enough to come here um, when it's not too crowded, you get uh, a much better, uh, closer look at at the rooms as they were set up. But you could just imagine the decisions that were made here. Thanks for joining me. Uh, like and subscribe to the video. Put in the comments if you've been here and how you found it, it's, it's fairly moving. Um, and also share the video with your friends, that would be great. This is another production from Vietnam Steve, coming to you from Ho Chi Minh City, on location today. Have a great day, stay frosty, and I'll see you in the next one. The uh, main staircase here is, is blocked off, but we went up the, up the back stairs. A uh, lovely Indian tourist is walking through my shop there. Thank you, sir. So out in the grounds of the palace here, it's just beautiful and cool. We've got uh, people strolling along, uh, looking at some of the artifacts. I'm just heading over to get a couple of shots of um, some tanks we've got here in the garden. You could just imagine them uh, pulling up to the palace here and saying, uh, Arvin, it's over. Um, we're from the north and we're here to help. So uh, those of you that remember uh, the American War, Tank 390 is a very, very famous tank. It uh, got to the palace in the nick of time. Uh, commanded the other troops from here as a forward observation especially supported by tank 843 a little bit behind tank 843 uh, had extra fuel, fuel canisters on the back that allowed them to get here uh, point their guns at the palace and uh, demonstrate to the Americans that it was time to uh, fire up the chopper. Very historical, fantastic place to be. Definitely when you come to Ho Chi Minh City, you need to come to the Independence Palace.